Hello, Void Visitors, and welcome back to Void Train. In the last episode, we went ahead and collected the things we needed and researched the lab. So to begin this episode, we're going to go ahead and place the lab here on our tiny little train. Don't have a lot of space, so we are trying to utilize the corners as much as humanly possible here. I'm not even sure what the lab is used for at this point, so I really didn't know even if this was the proper direction for it. Turns out it was... So it works out well. But upon looking at the recording that I have and stuff, I had said previously that I had planned on releasing the videos on Thursday, Saturday, and uh, Tuesday. But I'm going to go ahead and release these videos, obviously with this one, on an every other day basis because I do have enough to do four videos with what I had created. So we're going to go ahead and have the release on Thursday, Saturday, now here on Monday, and then again on Wednesday. Uh, as I said, I do bulk record the things I do because I work during what I consider my week of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And so I try to get all my recordings done mostly on Thursday, but some of the times with the Zani especially, I will be playing on a different day. And so I do have to bulk record, but I do separate it out so that way it's, I'd say, reasonably sized videos for you to enjoy. So with this new lab, we're able to create this new element here, this uh, unstable chemical. And from the unstable chemical, then we're going to be able to make other things. And so we've got to get the unstable chemical in order to do some of our research. And already, as you can see, wood is an issue. So, I had mentioned it in the previous video, but we found out fairly early on here that wood is going to be something that's really a challenge for us at this point. I'm hoping that it might be, uh, you know, maybe we'll be able to grow plants here in the future or something of that nature. So that way we can have wood stop being this problem for us. But for now, I can't really do anything else on the train, so I will go out here, help the Zani get different supplies. We've started to use the container as I had talked about, and the fact that we are using it to share items between one another. Uh, he'll get things, and we sort of have established that when we have the capabilities to do so, when we have enough... Uh, goods on the train for it. I'll, for the most part, stay on the train doing research, creating the different compounds and the new things that we need, and he'll sort of go fishing for the different items we need out in the void. Well, I do know you guys probably enjoy seeing that somewhat, of going out into the void. I know it's somewhat the same thing over and over again right now, so him doing that to a point and me going ahead and creating the new things I think works out well. So now we've gotten to the next research level here, and we're able to get basic components too, and a container rack. And so the container rack is the next thing I want to get done here. So as I've started doing, basically I'll look at the documents, I'll see what it is we need, and then I'll go ahead and tell Dizani what it is I need in order for us to make the new thing. And for the most part right now, it really is wood. I've got plenty of scrap metal in order to make the different uh, ingots that are needed. Uh, we have enough chemicals, so I can also make copper and such as need be. But we just need the wood in order to operate the smelter, operate the lab, so on and so forth. So for right now, he had just brought back a piece of wood. He's uh, putting it in there. And I'm just checking to see if there's anything else that we're missing while he's doing that. Since he's got that taken care of for now, he's going to go ahead and make the ingot. And I'll go ahead and start doing a little bit of fishing for us and heading out here some. As I said, the game really does function best as a team type game. Uh, the more you're able to work together and produce the things you need, the better it works out. Here we can see he was able to get four wood, which is extraordinarily helpful because I do need to make several different ingots for everything we need for this stand. And so I'm able to just put in that I need two of these iron ingots or iron bricks, I think it's called in the game. Um, 
iron bars and then just allow the smelter to make them both at the same time. As long as we have the materials for it, it works out perfectly fine. So I get those. I want to go check on the research desk to make sure that I'm making the right things for it. So I know that I need bolts now. So then I'm going to go over to the craft table here, the workbench, and make the bolts. The craft table is the one thing out of everything here was sort of getting used to how it works. But the craft table is the one thing it seems like that does not actually take uh, fire or wood in order to work. Well, I guess the research table doesn't either. So it's sort of interesting. Everything that takes fire is on one side of our train and the other side of the train is the stuff that doesn't. Really. So we get that made and then I want to see right away what it is that we'll need in order to craft this. So that way, again, Dasani can be on the lookout for it. I realize we need another steel bar and we need more bolts, so we're going to need two more uh, of the iron bars in reality. The good thing is we've got plenty of scrap metal for it, so that's not an issue at all. And we've got enough wood here to be able to make these bars right away. So we'll have the metal pieces that we need for the container rack. Again, the thing that's going to be possibly in short supply will be the wood. Now, I can take extra wood from the smelter in order to use it in a circumstance like this. But even with that being the case, it does still cause uh, challenges at points. So we got the bolts made. I take one of the pieces of wood here, so that way I should have everything that I need for it. And I was hoping I could just put the container rack right over the box where it sits. I'm not able to do that, so instead I have to decide where to put it. I'm able to sort of squeeze it here next to uh, the lab. So that's going to be its new home. Of course, I hit the wrong button there, so I do a little jump instead. Then I get placed down. I do sort of wish that the uh, creation tool would just go away then once you've done that, because it is a bit of a challenge when it's like you've already created the thing, but the outline of it is still over it. It makes it sort of confusing like you didn't actually create the thing. Now here it says that it wants us to move the container, and this is one of the first times I really had a challenge in the game, because it doesn't explain to you how to do this that well at all. So what you're seeing is me sort of struggling with trying to press all the buttons on my controller that I can in order to make this work. As I've said in other games, yes I do play on a computer, I play through Steam for the most part, but I still do, especially in first person games, like using a controller. So trying to figure out how to make this move with a controller. This would not work with a keyboard. You'd have to figure out what the controls are for it. But what I end up doing here is I end up looking at the journal here, I believe, in a moment. And when I do, I'm able to find a line in the journal that tells me, in order to do this, that I'm going to need to switch to the hammer. So I'm sorry, checking out the different pages here, looking for an explanation of what is going on. Uh, there's information there that's sort of interesting, but here we have moving buildings. And that's where I find, okay, this is how we move it. I do sort of plan on looking at the journal again at a point in time when I've got a bit less going on in the game. Perhaps when, you know, we're just sort of, uh, when I've got everything crafted and uh, Dasani or my fiance or whatnot is out looking for things. Uh, so what I end up doing there is you hold the button that actually pulls up your workbook. And while you do that, you're able to change to the hammer instead of the workbook. Once you have the hammer out, you're able to then click on move an item and I'm able to then move the container over this container rack. Even though we really didn't need a container rack right now, it required it, so I went ahead and got it. Decided I preferred the container on the upper shelf, I just thought it looked better up there. No real reason other than that. I just felt like it looked better there.
But yes, when I have some more free time in the game, I will probably look at the journal. Uh, as I said, I do feel like, especially right now, this looming deadline of uh, hunger being an issue. And so I feel like all the time I need to get as much done as I possibly can. And so with that in mind, I'm not doing, I'm not going to spend the time right now to do things like look at a journal and such. I saw these two pieces of wood and I'm like, I do not want to miss them at all. So I jumped off to go get them myself. Because as I said, wood is becoming very scarce already. And I recognize that it's going to be an issue. But as I've said previously, um, I do hope... Dasani, just for, as a side note here, Dasani created that resin. Wasn't exactly sure why or what we would do with it yet, but I went ahead and collected it since I'm the one that's going to be on the train for the most part, and that way I'll have it when I need it for something in the future. So here I needed to create this chemical in order to then use it to create the grease that I would need for the research. So this is where wood really begins to be burned quite quickly because I have to use it first to create the chemical, then I have to use more wood to turn that chemical into the grease. So instead of just one melting process, it's actually two. As you can see, there was one of my bars of wood already gone just for that. But as I was sort of saying before, I do sort of hope that as time goes on, things like wood might not become an issue as well, because maybe we'll be able to grow our own trees on board the train, and things like food won't be an issue because we'll be able to grow our own plants. Uh, that's at least the thought I have going on right now. I guess time will tell if that is the case or not. So here again, now I need an iron bar, so I'll go ahead and make one of those real fast. Doesn't have to be special in any way, so we're just able to create it. And with those two, now I can do this research and get the basic components two created. And now we're able to research a kitchen which will allow for grilled organics and a water flask. And I did not know it at this point, but I sort of had a suspicion that this would actually aid in the issue we were having in the, uh, the food area. And I was correct in that. So here, Dasani has been putting the items that he's been fishing into there, and I'm going out to just, uh... I'm going to grab them as I need them in order to do the next research project. Uh, I just saw that piece of metal, though, and I'm like, you know, I'll go grab it. As I said, I am sort of taking on the role of the creator more here, but at the same time, I will go off the train at points to go do things, because it's still just really fun to go float around. Here, I was going to make the copper, cor the copper coil, but I wanted to make absolutely sure that that was what was necessary, didn't want to be wasting our product at all, so went ahead and checked it. It was the right thing, so I'll go ahead and make it here. Then I know that I need the uh, metal. I hope I have enough wood for it, but I sort of know that I don't at this point. But actually, I've found that even if you run out of wood, if you're pretty much at the end of the smelting process or the end of the lab process, it sort of gives you a little bit of a grace period, and it allows that wood to work well enough. So I start to feel like I can abuse that a little bit. So even when I'm about to run out of wood, I'll do the project. And for the most part, I'll be able to get the project done without having to wait. Now, in the meantime, Dazani was able to find some more pieces of wood here, so I go ahead and take those over, because I know I'm going to need at least another bar or two. Then I realize I'm out of scrap, so I'm not actually able to make the next bar that I need. 
But again, Dazani has put plenty of scrap into the uh, container here, so I go ahead and move that over. I really do like the way this, this works overall. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that I have to drag it from the side of the screen the way I do. Wish it was a little bit faster than that. But I do like the way that you're able to combine things in your inventory together up to the number 10. So you can have 10 of a particular item in one space so it doesn't take up as much room on your overall inventory. So we get that extra bar, go ahead and make these bolts. Sort of interesting just the way that Dasani is <laughs> walking around everything of that nature. Here I just wanted to check to make sure I was crafting the right item so that way I didn't waste the bar that I had just spent the time creating. I don't exactly know on a workbench how I am creating bolts out of a iron bar, but I guess evidently I'm capable of that. Makes real skill. So then we'll go ahead and research the kitchen here. I find that the next group of things is going to be medical related in the bandage and the sterilizer. Not as worried about those as we really don't need them at this point. Here I realized we got another person that came out of the train. I did not plan on hitting him with the hammer, but it just happened that I pulled out the hammer there. Uh, the guy hadn't done anything wrong, but as I said, I just really want this to be with my friends that I'm gaming because of the fact that it makes it so challenging. Uh, otherwise, when you can't communicate with one of your teammates. So here I was able to find that I can go to the session and I am able to go down to the particular person's name. Uh, and so I'm able to just go to him here and kick him out of the out of the game uh it took me a few moments here to figure it out but once i did went ahead and kicked him and that way it's just back to Dizani and myself it is a little bit nicer than having to jump entirely out of the game each time um as i do wish that i could set it up as a friends only lobby but that's just not been working properly so i've had to do it this way for right now so, in the meantime, Dazani had taken everything out of our chest because he was worried that the person might come in and take the things. He's now put them back into the chest, so that way we've got them there so I can continue uh, to make the things that we need for the uh, kitchen. So here, I'm just taking the items that I'm going to need overall, the things that I use the most in the wood and the metal, Combining them with the ones that I have already in my inventory, I decided might as well fill my chemical up as well while I'm here. The only thing I leave behind right now is the leather because I really don't need it. And I want a few spaces in my inventory available. I see this chemical, so I figure I might as well go grab it. I know I'm going to need a copper bar, so I might as well go ahead and have the extra chemical for making that copper bar. Then I'm going to go ahead and smelt the bars here, and in the next episode, we'll go ahead and make that kitchen. But if you enjoyed what we did this episode, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you. I hope that you enjoyed what we did in this episode of Void Train. And I also hope to see you back in the void.